Hello people, welcome to the video series where we learn Kotlin by solving hacker rank algorithm challenges. In the last episode, we went through simple array sum and now we will go with compare the triplets problem. Let's check it out. Let me read the question very quickly. Alice and Bob each created one problem for hacker rank. A reviewer raised the two challenges, awarding points on a scale from 1 to 100 for three categories, problem clarity, originality, and difficulty. The rating for Alice's challenge is the triplet A, A0, A1, and A2, and the rating for Bob's challenge is the triplet B, B0, B1, and B2. The task is to find their comparison points by comparing A0 with B0, A1 with B1, and A2 with B2. If AI, meaning if A0 or A1 or A2, is bigger than B0 or B1 or B2, then Alice is awarded one point. Else, if it is uh, the point for A is less than point for B, then Bob is awarded by one point. And if AI is equal to BI, then neither person receives a point. So uh, to make this more clear, we will be given uh, three, three uh, points for each person. This is Alice's numbers and this is Bob's numbers. And we will compare each of them one by one. So we will compare A0 with B0, A1 with B1, and A2 with B2. And if Alice has a greater a number here then we will give Alice one point if they have equal like so six and six then we won't award any point uh, to, to neither parties and if Bob has a greater number then we will award the point uh, to Bob uh, so for this sample input you can see that the first round is five to three so uh, Alice is awarded one point and in the second round, six by six, neither parties uh, should be given any points. And uh, the last round, uh, Bob has a greater number, so Bob is awarded. So it is one for Alice and one for Bob. So we should return one uh, space one. Uh, one. The first one is Alice's points and the second one is Bob's points. This is, again, uh, an easy level question, uh, challenge. And there could be, uh, again, many solutions. Let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and start looking for answers. As I said, here we have this compare triplets function. And this function, you can see, has two parameters. The first parameter is A, the uh, numbers for Alice. And the second parameter is, uh, is B, and it is the numbers for Bob. And uh, you can also see that A is an array of integers and B is an array of integers. As you should know or guess at this point, uh, these arrays uh, should be of three elements. So the, a, the, the first parameter A is a three element array and the second parameter B is a three element array. And that is where we know this, we know it from uh, the problem description. We will be given two arrays and each of them is of size three. And you can see that we also need to return another array. Uh, and this array should be of two elements because the first one should be the award points uh, for Alice and the second one should be Bob's award points. So we need to compare two arrays of size three and compare A0 with B0, A1 with B1 and A2 with B2. And we need to calculate the overall score for Alice and Bob and we need to return those points as an array. In, and in the returned array, the zeroth element should be Alice's points and the first element should be Bob's points. Enough talk, let's code. So uh, if we have score of Alice, not as a value, but as a variable, uh, they should start from zero. 
score of Bob, these are zero, but these should be changed now. And we need to check if a zero is greater than b zero, right? We need to increment score of Alice. This means increment, and this could also be written as this. Okay, and then you can write if a zero is less than b zero, then score of Bob should be incremented, right? Uh, and if they are equal, we don't need to do anything because neither of the parties get any point. So uh, we can do this, we should do this for the first elements and also for the second elements, right? So that's a lot of code, but at the end, uh, we calculated the score of Alice and score of Bob, and we need to return an array. How do we return this array? It's like so. To create an array, you can use array of, and then return the score of Alice as the first in the first place, and then score of Bob. I think this should work. We can write a main function to see if this works or not. Print the value returned by compare triplets for uh, arrays, let's say one, two, three, or let's get the example ones, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, and three, six, 10. Array of three, six, 10. Don't forget the commas. If if this is a lot of chaining, I, you can like split it uh, like so. You can you can do this. Array one or a is this, okay? And b is this array, and you can compare the triplets a and b, okay? And get the result. Result is also an array. And then you can print or print lin the result. You can do it on one line, and if it bothers you, if it's not good for your eyes, if you cannot understand which parentheses is going where, you can also split, split the whole expression in, into different expressions, into different lines. Cool. So let's run this and see if the result is one and one. Uh, you, can, <laughs> you can see that since this is not a list, but an array just printing it won't make a, a sense. So, so let's do this instead. Print len result zero and result one in a string using string templates. Okay, like so. Okay, let's see what does this output. Okay. Let me zoom in and you can see it is one and one, which is the correct output. So yeah, this, this code seems to be working. Let's copy and paste this and see if it works for all of the test cases. Cool, uh, we got all success. So this, this is a, a solution but um, there, there seems to be a lot of repetition in this code. You can see that these two lines are very similar to these two lines and these two lines. Only thing that change is the zeros into ones and ones into twos. So this kind of incrementation reminds me of loops. So if you... Um, for this, let me copy and paste this solution so that I can come up with another one. I will only change this name. And uh, now, since these, uh, these kind of repetitions reminds me uh, of loops, what I, what I will do is 
is just to create a loop for i in it goes from 0 to 2 right so i in 0 to 2 and if I get these two lines into here and get rid of the rest of it and instead of 0 if I write i then you can see that a0 and b0 uh, a1 and B1 and A2 and B2 will be compared after this for loop completes. So let's try this one as well. Again, we see the result 1 and 1. So it again seems to be working. Let's submit this code and see if it works for all of the test cases as well. The code is shorter, as you see. Cool. We also have all success uh, for all the test cases. Um, now, I can push myself a little bit. Like, the code looks cool. It's readable. But I am also wondering if there is any fancy Kotlin uh, array extension function that would help us do this comparison okay uh, for example there is something called zip uh, in kotlin collections uh, returns a list of pairs built from the elements of one array and another so if you have let's say two lists or two arrays uh, a b c one two three four it'll like zipping these two uh, into one will produce this uh, a one b two and C3. So we can zip these two first and then apply count to come up with something. Let me let me try. So let's copy and paste this solution again. By the way, this solution is not necessarily better than the second one. The second solution is already a good solution, but I also use this hacker rank challenges to showcase some of the collection operations and, and functions defined in Kotlin collections because I really like them. This is a good opportunity to learn more about it. So if the second solution is good enough for you, you don't need to uh, apply the third one. The third one is uh, for educational purposes only. So instead of using a loop we will we will use list based functions so i'm gonna get rid of this um, first thing we need to do to calculate score of alice is to zip a with b this will create pairs of like a0 b0 a1 b1 and a2 b2 and after zipping then i can count uh, with a predicate this predicate here uh, is used for counting. Let, let, if you want to also uh, learn more about count, you can check uh, the official documentation. But shortly, it counts the elements in this list or in this collection uh, if the predicate, if this condition holds, okay? So I need to give here some condition, some Boolean expression, let's say. And if that Boolean expression works for each element, then it'll count those elements. So first I zip A with B. This will create A0, B0 uh, and other pairs. And now I can count each of them. If the uh, first one, it first is bigger than its second, okay? This will count how many of Alice's points are greater than Bob's points. And also I can use the same expression, but now I can use its second is greater than its first to find out how many times of, or how many categories B supersedes A. And this will calculate the score of Bob. And I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I did everything correctly, but let's run this to see if it produces the expected output. Uh, it output one and one. And let's also copy this solution. Uh, uh, before copying, sorry, 
uh, since we don't change the score of Alice and score of Bob, you can use Wells now. And now I can copy this into Hacker Rank. This is kind of a shorter solution, but not necessarily a better solution. Okay, the maybe the first one also uh, is very explicit, but it is both long and repetitive. So the second solution is better than the first one. And this solution, uh, the third solution is also better than the first solution, but not necessarily better than the second solution. Okay, if, uh, if your code base uh, are full of for loops, maybe it's better for you to stick with for loops. But uh, if you and your teammates are uh, used to this kind of uh, list operators and coming from uh, a maybe list based programming language, then maybe you will like these more. I don't know. Each of those has their advantages and disadvantages. Let me submit the code and see if I pass all of the test cases. Yeah, as you can see, I got success from all of the test cases. Good. This is enough for this video. See you in the next one. Take care.